that damage. Tonight, a Cedar Rapids family is still fighting for their home to be repaired three years later. And KCRG TV9's Becky Phelps talked with them, and she joins us now live in the studio. Three years ago, the August 2020 derecho damaged thousands of homes across Cedar Rapids. For some, the impact of that storm is still fresh. A lot of the city feels like it's moving on, but we're stuck here. Three years after the August 2020 derecho hit Cedar Rapids, Abby Kokontis Griffith, her husband and three children are still living in a damaged home. We lost a huge one up front. Um, the entire yard behind, uh, beh behind us where it was covered in trees. And then of course the huge one that was just, it crushed our garage, it was destroyed. They took pictures, contacted their insurance, and started down the road to recovery. But they say it's been a difficult journey. We had an adjuster come and she gave us a, uh, an amount that the workers, when they demoed, um, realized wasn't going to be enough for the damage that we sustained. Um, so we had to hire a private assessor. He said that there was not only damage to our garage, but internal damage. Condis Griffith says hidden damage to insulation, walls, flooring, and more now also needs fixing. Last winter, when we had those really cold days before Christmas, we were covering our windows with blankets because it was so cold. A sign of progress did come this summer. They were here demoing, pulling out the concrete and pouring, and, and then just last week we finally got to see the garage. So that was really, really exciting. But still, the family says there's no definite timeline on repairs. I would really like to have a garage for the winter for the first time in three years. Um, I, I don't know. We are, we're still being held up with money, honestly. Kakantis Griffith says she's happy to see the community showing signs of recovery, but says it's important to remember the damage that's still lingering three years later. There are still families that are struggling and that still need a lot of work. In Cedar Rapids, Becky Phelps, KCRG TV9 News. All right.